How to install fonts on Mac. Fortunately for all users, the process of installing fonts on a Mac is as simple as ABC. You don't need to be a tech guru to download, install, preview, and enable new fonts on Mac. All you'll need is some high-level guidance, and we're happy to provide it. Once files with new fonts are successfully downloaded, you'll need to add them to the Mac system to start using them. The easiest and recommended way to add fonts to your Mac is to use Fontbook, a font management app that is pre-installed on all Macs. You can install fonts, one, for your accounts only, two, for all accounts on your Mac, three, for the entire network. Depending on what you need, the process will be slightly different. First, let's check out how to install fonts for your account only. One, use Finder to locate a folder with a new Mac font. Two, in this folder, find a file ending with .ttf, .ttc, or .otf, and double-click on it, and this will automatically run Fontbook for you. Three, click Install Font, and you're done. That's all it takes to start using newly downloaded fonts on your Mac. Now let's install fonts for all accounts. One, use Finder or Spotlight to find and launch Fontbook. Two, Go to the app menu bar at the top and click font book, then preferences. Three, use drop down to change the default location from user to computer. Four, find and open the folder of the new font you wish to add. In this folder, double click on the file ending with .ttf, .ttc, or .otf. Five, click the install font button on the font book pop-up. Congratulations! The new font has just been added to the fonts folder system-wide, and you can use it from any account on your Mac. To install fonts for everyone on your network, you need to either be a network administrator or to ask one to do it for you. Notice that to make new fonts available for all network users, they need to be copied to the network's Mac fonts folder. The address is network slash library slash fonts. As you can see, using Fontbook to install new fonts on Mac is pretty simple, but it's not the only way. You can also do it manually. To install fonts manually, you need to find your library folder. Starting from OS 10 10.7, you'll need some extra effort to locate and access it. 1. Open Finder and click the Go section in the upper menu. 2. Find Go To Folder on the drop-down menu and click on it. Three type hyphen slash library slash fonts in the pop-up window and press go. Four, the fonts folder will show up. Five, drag and drop an unzipped font file to the fonts folder. Well done. Now you know how to add Mac fonts manually too. Now you know everything you need to download, install, and effectively manage new fonts on your Mac. We hope this will give you more room for creativity and experiments when working on any Mac projects. Did you know fonts are gender specific? Male fonts are strong, heavy, bold, and jagged, while female fonts are light, curly, scripted, and fun.